Good morning and welcome back to the kitchen again. I'm glad all of y'all have made it through Christmas and we're almost through New Year's and we'll have a brand new year to try to be better than we were last year. I want to show y'all something that I'm really proud of. Look at these big old lemons that came off of my little lemon tree. I had 14 of them. And then my cousins, Wayne and Linda, came and brought me some little satsuma oranges. Oh my goodness, they're sweet as sugar. My grandson said they needed to sell those to the store because they were better than uh, the cuties and the ones at the store. And then my cousin Ann and George came and brought me a whole bunch of kumquats. Now what I'm going to do with these is, I'm going to eat some of them of course, but I'm going to make some marmalade and I hope to film that in the next day or two. So. Stay tuned for some kumquat marmalade. I like marmalade, and I have a couple of recipes that call for orange marmalade, so I can use my homemade kumquat when I get it made. Now, some of y'all are making some New Year's resolutions about dieting and losing weight, and I think we've all done that about a million times, or however many years we've been an adult, and it lasts a day or two usually. But um, Everybody's on the keto and the low carb thing, and I'm not. I'm not doing this to tell you that's what I'm going to do because I know I won't stick with that. But I, I have made this before, and it's good. So for those of you that haven't heard of it, or you've heard of it and you haven't made it, I'm going to make the uh, cloud bread today, and it's n it's no, no carb, and it's easy to make, and surprisingly, it's good. Now you can make it uh, plain like I'm going to do. You could, you know, sprinkle some cinnamon and stevia or whatever on the top. You can make it savory, adding your onion and garlic powder, uh, maybe a few minced, very, very small minced green onions. But all it consists of is cream of tartar, egg, uh, two eggs, and two ounces of cream cheese. You can also use uh, whole milk ricotta. And you, or you could use sour cream, but I always use cream cheese with it. Now, you separate the eggs, and then uh, you blend the yolks with the cream cheese really well. And you whip your egg whites really stiff with the cream of tartar. Then you gently combine the two, and it makes about four, um, about the size of the top of a hamburger bun, pieces of bread for you to use for a sandwich or whatever you want to use it for. So I'm going to get my eggs separated and I'll bring you over here and let you watch that and then we'll get over to the mixer and whip our egg whites and blend it and I'm going to cook it today in my June oven. I didn't heat my big oven up. I'm going to cook it in the June and um, make use of that sweet thing. So I'll bring the camera over while I separate the eggs with my little egg separator I've had from Tupperware for about 40 years. So I don't know what I'll do if something happens to it because they're new with that you buy isn't made like this. I love this little thing. So y'all come on over here to the booze block and we'll separate eggs and then we'll get over to the KitchenAid and make our cloud bread. Okay, generally I like to have my eggs at room temperature uh, because they whip better, uh, fluffier. But I didn't have, I didn't think to leave them out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do them. They're straight out of the refrigerator. But that's okay, they'll still blend, you know, blend, but. Okay, let me get something to put my yolks in. I'll go ahead and put them in there where I'm going to mix them up with the cream cheese. I like this little thing. It separates them so well. Okay, yolk in there, whites in there, and now we're going to go over. I've got my cream cheese and I put it in the microwave on soften, so it's ready to blend with my yolks. And then we will. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to do the whites first because I'm going to use the same beater over into the cream cheese and. Yolk. So y'all come on over to the mixer and I'll show you uh, the rest of this. doesn't take long to get it all put together. And it's an alternative if you are craving a piece of bread and, and you're real disciplined and 
you're not eating bread, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, I've got my two egg whites and one eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and I'm going to whip these until they're real stiff. My cream of tartar is all in a blob there. there but they're not quite stiff yet. You want them really really stiff. Okay they're stiff enough now and uh, well I'm just going to move everything over into this one so that'll work fine. Let me just change bowls and whip up the cream cheese and the uh, egg yolks together. It doesn't call for it, but this is a fourth of a teaspoon measurer, and you can see I've just got, oh, that's probably a sixteenth of a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little salt because they don't have anything in them, and I like to always add a little bit of salt. Let's scrape it down and see how they look. I still have a few little hunks of cream cheese, so I'm going to do it a little bit more, and then we'll be ready to put our little clouds in the oven. Get the egg whites in. It always amazes me how beating the egg whites changes the whole picture of what you're cooking. Same product, it's just how you use it. I think that's neat. Okay, I'm just going to put it on low because I just want to blend it. I'm going to mix it a little bit myself here. Let me see. Because we don't want to deflate our egg whites. Okay, I'm just going to get that off of there. See if I can get my mixer back where y'all can see what I'm doing. I've just got my non-stick pan here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to put out little blobs of it like that and make little bun shaped generally I get four but I might have made them too big we'll see now I think I'm gonna get four that one's not too rounded is it 
Okay, I'm going to get this into the oven, and I'll have to tell you in a minute for how long. I'm not sure. I know it's on 300 degrees. And I'll come back and show you some finished, no-carb cloud bread. Okay, it says to bake them for about 30 minutes at 300. So there they are in the oven cooking. And we'll just bring you back when they're nice and brown and finished. I wanted to show y'all how it's rising up in there. See how nice and puffy they're getting? Pretty neat how they turn out. Okay, it's still in the oven. The music is telling me that it's finished. So I'm going to get them out and put them on a wire rack to cool, and I'll bring y'all back in a minute. Okay, here's the bread. And you can pick it up just like a slice of bread and I cut one in half and I made a sandwich out of it and it's perfect I don't know if pickles have carbs I'm not into that but I tried to make y'all a no low carb no carb so I've got the vegetables dill pickles the sandwich has ham mayonnaise cheese lettuce and tomato on it and a little bit of ranch dressing a tablespoon of ranch dressing for the vegetables so see, if you want to stick with it and do it, you can make this cloud bread and use it for toast in the mornings. You can make sandwiches with it, eat it with your soup like regular bread. It, it's very good. I'm just real happy one more time with how my bread came out. That is good. And I'm going to taste this sandwich just to show y'all. You can just make, you know, let it cool where you can cut it, make you a sandwich. That's very good. Serves its purpose. It's very yummy. So I hope y'all will try this and let me know if you make it and how you like it. Um, the recipe card says to put it in a Ziploc in the refrigerator. You do once it cools. Um, do that. Put it in a Ziploc and you might want to put wax paper between it. I don't remember if it sticks or not. We use, I usually eat it before and don't have to do that, but it'll keep in the refrigerator for a day or two. So, not hard to make. A new alternative to bread. And happy dieting to y'all in the new year. Hope y'all come back here. I'm going to try to be here regularly. We still don't have a report on my daughter. And I just got word that my brother, uh, they found him in the floor and they're taking him to... ER, so I don't know what I'm looking at there. Boy, when it rains, it pours, don't it? So I'll be here as often as I can, and if I'm not here, just say an extra prayer for whatever's going on in my life right now. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate every comment and all of the prayers and the support. It means a whole lot. Y'all know I love what I'm doing, and I want to be right here in this kitchen cooking and making good stuff. So maybe I can... Um, I think maybe today I'll have some time, so I hope to get a couple of videos made, but at least I got this one done. I'll see y'all right back here just on time if I can. The good Lord bless and keep you, and um, make you some goodies and get ready for New Year's Eve, because we're fixing to have a whole new slate to try to do things a little bit better than we did last year. I'll see y'all back in a day or two.